Limlin from Desert Plant Survival on in the north of Ireland. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you what spider mite looks like on leafy plants. And this can be for house plants, it can be for garden plants, any type of plant that you grow. And um, this here is my two Brugmansias, Brugmansia red, Brugmansia yellow, still quite small. But I've noticed they started having a little bit of yellowing on the leaves. And, and upon closer inspection with a strong magnifying glass, I have seen the dreaded spider mite. And I'm just going to show you what it looks like here. This is one of the leaves, li leaves lifting it up. Lots and lots of very, 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 very tiny black little spots and orange spots as well. Also little red spots, all, all um, incredibly tiny. I mean, you have to have very good eyesight to see this. I wouldn't see this without my magnifying glass. And my camera's not the best for macro, so I can't get too close. But I'm sure you can see all the little tiny different sort of black and orangey coloured spots all over this plant and as I say with the magnifying glass I could see that it's spider mite. Now spider mite is also known as the two spotted mite as well and you can clearly see the damage here I mean there's a big colony there of them. Horrible and it's a bit of a you know sometimes people say you'll know when you have spider mite because you'll see all the webbing but not all spider mites produce webs there's over a thousand different types of spider mites and in my experience most of the ones that i've encountered don't actually have webs so just bear that in mind and uh just show you here it's absolutely infested with it absolutely horrible and I grow a lot of cacti, as you can see here, and they're very prone to getting spider mites, especially some of the more compact ones like the Rebusias and the Lophophoras. And I use neem oil with very, very good success to keep it, keep it at bay as much as possible. And this is what I'm going to be recommending you use if you have this also on your leafy plants, your garden plants and your house plants. Now, what I do to get rid of this, I would actually recommend, first of all, when you're using neem oil, make sure that you don't use it in direct sunshine. And if it happens to be extremely hot and we sort of all go through a bit of a heat wave at the moment, I'd actually recommend taking your infected plants into, into a house or into a corner of your garden, completely away from your other plants. They need to be isolated and away from direct sun and high heat because if you do use neem oil in high heat and high sun it can have a habit of giving a bit of an orangey scar in and then your plants could look worse so just bear that in mind other than that it's very safe to use and it's very effective and I mix five millilitres of neem oil with 10 millilitres of horticultural liquid soap to one litre of warm water. Give it a very, very, very good mix. So the oil and the soap has mixed and then thoroughly, thoroughly spray all of the leaves and all of the foliage thoroughly. And as I say, it's so important that you actually, as soon as you spot this, isolate it from your other plants. I've got this here in the greenhouse. I'm going to be taking it straight out after making this video. And uh, you want to repeat the neem oil again three days later and then again five days later. Now I have made a complete video in, in detail on how to use and how to mix neem oil for getting rid of in, uh, insect pests such as spider mites and mealybugs and the like. I've, and that video I go into much more detail on how to mix it and how to make it. So do check that video out. I'll link that video up above and down below in the video description. But it all, when it comes to the ratios, it can depend on the type of brand of neem oil you use. I use one by Pink Sun. It's very, very good. Very happy with it. But certain brands will have different mixes. And some neem oil you buy is already pre-mixed with the soap. So it, do, do check out what neem oil you get and use when it comes to the measurements. But it's the only thing that's ever worked. As I say, I use it on my cacti. Very effective. So that's what I'm going to be using on this here. So I hope you found the video useful. Should you not know what is going on with your plants and you notice this and um, hope you can see that this is what spider mite looks like. It is horrible. So it's not always a case of you've got webs. It's a lot more, um, it can be a lot more confusing than that. And it's, you know, unless you know what to look for, you don't really know what it looks like. It's a horrible pest, but I'm glad that I've spotted it excuse the pun, two spotted spider mite. I'm glad I've spotted it now before it takes too much of an infestation on the plants. So thank you so much for watching everybody and for lots more tips and tricks on how you can care for and grow many different types of plants then do check out my um, YouTube channel, do subscribe and watch the many videos on there and also check out my website as well desertplantsofavalon.com 
I want to wish you all an amazing pest-free plant-powered day. <laughs>